Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll learn how we can able to create a map layout more than two or three images if we have, how we can able to create a map layout for them. So we'll do all the processes. So I have this same map, okay? So this same map I have downloaded from the UHS Earth Explorer. You can check out our previous videos. There I, there I have already shown how we can able to download the DAME map. So in the ArcGIS lesson three, I have shown how to download the DAME map and all that. So after downloading the DAME map, I'm interested to prepare a map layout. To, map layout. So first we'll create a, this is the elevation map, then we'll prepare the slope and aspect and all that will create a map layout, okay? So how to do that, that we'll see. So first we'll see this is the dim and what we'll do, we'll project this dim first. So to project the dim, we'll go to the data management tool, then projection and transformation, raster and project raster. So we'll project this dim first and then we'll prepare the map. So if you'll see this falls in, uh, this falls in 94. 92 or 93 so this falls in 46 utm zones so will provide a 46 utm zone so how to find out the utm zone that also i have shown in the previous videos that you can able to find out in our channel so what i'm interested here that we'll create a map layout for three images okay so first we'll create here first we'll uh, project this team so let's i'm working in the folder here i will create a new folder map layout so i will add here projected tem dot tiff and uh, utm zone we need to provide here so we'll select a 46 UTM zone and just click on OK. So what we're doing, we'll project this first and then we'll prepare the desire map and then we'll create a map layout to it. So my projected dem is completed here, PRG dem. So from this PRZM, what we'll do, uh, we'll create our maps. We'll go to spatial analysis tool, then surface, and I'll prepare slope. So projected them, slope dot tiff. Okay. After that, aspect so i'll create an aspect here so projected them aspect dot tiff okay i will also create a hill shade projected them Hillshed dot tiff. So here I'll increase the altitude up to 15. Just click on OK. So our map is ready now and we'll create a what we'll do, we'll make a transparent to this hillshed. So up to 70% I will transparent. Okay, so I want to create elevation map okay then slope map and then aspect map three map layout will do so suppose i will go to this projected dem i can categorize this into five classes it will provide a color ramp apply and uh, label up to only three decimals apply okay so to create a map layout, we need to go here uh, below corner. There is one option. If you click here, that is a layout view. First, we are in data view. We need to click on the layout view. 
Once we'll go to the layout view, we'll see this, the layout view is there. So I'm interested to show all these three map, like first elevation, then slope, and then aspect three map I want to show. So how we can able to show that? So we'll do the uh, landscape here. So file, then page and print setup, landscape, just click on okay. So let I will make it a small. Okay, so first map I have I'm showing here. So let I will take this team up. I will off this right click zoom to layer. So this is my first map that is elevation. Okay, so we'll all we'll we will add all the things here like the ledger and title scale bar all things we'll add here so pre before that let me extend this okay so let i will add the title this is the elevation map dem is nothing but an elevation so just copy this and click on okay So go to right click properties, elevation map, aerial black. We can increase the size here, bold, apply, and okay. So the elevation map will add north arrow. So we'll move this north arrow here. Okay, so after that, I will add legend. So this dem I want to show here. So these are my legends. If I want to uh, remove this PRJ dem, so I can right click and convert to graphic option is there. Again, right click, ungroup just change this dem apply okay so uh, again we'll group this then i will add scale bar here i will change to kilometer Apply OK. So let it be small. OK. So we'll provide a lat long to this. So layer. Just click on new grids. Then next. Label only. Next. Next. And finish. And apply. So you will see this lat long here. So if you want to change it, so we can go to properties. In interval will change. So here we'll add. Um, so this zero here also will add ten. Then we'll check again. Okay. So let's go to properties. Label. Then I will increase the size, bold, left and right. I will do vertical labels. Just apply, okay, apply, and okay. So now if you'll see our elevation map is now ready. After preparing elevation, we'll prepare a slope map. Similar way, what we can do. We, we can copy this and I will paste it here. So I'll just take it the same line as the line pre shown above. Okay. So after adding this, what we can do? I will add, sorry, this is the for this layout for the this and this another layout is here. If you'll see this another layout is there. So here I will add a slope map. 
so we added a slope map here after that i will copy this again and i will paste it here again i will ship this to the same extent and here i will provide a third map layout is created there and here i will select the aspect map okay so this is for the this three is for different different uh, places here if you'll see this is for the elevation so this is for the slope and this is for the aspect so here we'll add the title legend scale bar again so just just we can copy this and i can paste it here again i will copy and i will paste it here so let's change the name so this is the slope map apply and okay after that this is an aspect so now what we can able to do we want legend and scale bar so this not error also we can copy and paste copy and paste same scale bar also copy paste so we want legend here just go to insert so just select this slope map and we'll add the legends so next 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 and finish so i want this up to three decimal so just go to legend so previously we'll do the from here we can select up to three decimal label let me five classes then select on label format three decimal apply okay insert legend then the slope next 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 finish so this legend is for the slope right click convert to graphics and group so right click properties apply okay so let me increase the size of this slope slope i will increase uh, up to 16 okay so just select this group and move and uh, select all and we can select by clicking on control just group it and now you can able to see then uh, third will add here the aspect insert legend we need to select this aspect map insert legend then aspect next 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 finish so let me make it a smaller so this way what we can able to do if you want a same size for this okay so what we can able to do we can go to properties or uh, we can ungroup this after click on ungroup we can see the size 13.16 uh, 13.66 so same size we can provide here 13.66 okay 13.66 okay so see the similar size will both be having so just group it again just select this and group it again so this way we can able to uh, prepare the elevation map slope map and aspect map side by side 
so any map we can able to prepare easily and we can create a map layout similarly what we have seen here so just if you have some different dimensions map so you can also take one map here another map here and third map here and you can add all legend here mostly in fourth box so this way we can able to prepare very easily this maps and uh, now if you want to export this map so it is very easy to export in jpg so just click here and export this map after click on export just we need to select the folder where we are working so i'm working in this video lecture and here i have created a one folder map layout where i will save this in the video lecture uh, video lecture there is a map layout folder here is already a uh, map layout is showing but i will add all map layout so just click on save i'll go to the folder so you can able to see here is also it is showing all map layout so we can able to see this that elevation map slope map and aspect map so this way we can easily prepare the three map or four map what are the map we have so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you